Okay, this is the moment we've all been waiting for for a year now. The Haunted Road is back. As you know, last year we went to the Haunted Road. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's no idea what's going on. Oh man, he's like a Power Ranger out there. What? And that experience was interesting. So I've been waiting to see how it turns out this year. They've had a year to work on it. But I wore my special Halloween shirt tonight. <laughs> Oh my gourd. It says Haunted Road on the GPS. Enter, free parking, Haunted Road. We're reading uh, about what you can and cannot do here. Now, apparently there's no motorcycles, bikes, limos, scooters, low riding cars, or monster trucks allowed through the Haunted Road. We were gonna bring the monster truck out today, but glad we didn't. The dirt around the tombstone, and you're gonna ask the spirits, may you pass. Sprinkle the dirt. Ask yes. And ask for forgiveness. No, ask, ask for permission to <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> permission, not forgiveness. Yes. Okay. If you ask forgiveness, that's a little weird. Okay. Because <laughs> then you're you're feeling already guilty for being here. We don't want you to feel that way. I was we want you to be guilty. happy to be here. I thought this is like Oreo dirt. cookie crumbs. So we've consecrated dirt. We're gonna have to sprinkle out some tombstone before we're allowed passage into the haunted road. You got a suspicious baggie right there. All right, don't tell me. Consecrated dirt. Super sus. Is it is it just someone's uh, ashes? Like so. And then we have a walkie-talkie to talk to Farmer Dave. So that right there, that walkie, okay. Farmer Dave's got a message for you. And the haunted road. It's one of the most haunted places in Florida, and it falls on my property line. This place is haunted as hell, and apparently some of y'all like that kind of stuff. And in the interest of making a quick buck, I'm letting you come see it for yourself. Some of the area ahead might be a bit run down, but that's my business, so shut up and deal with it. <laughs> I made it real easy for you. I've marked most of the haunted areas with ghost sight and sign. When you see those signs, pull over, park your car, and turn your head. Okay, they're all in the car. So this is, oh God, what is going on? So there's music. Uh, the, okay, it's talking to us. Where's the dirt? Okay, wait, what am I supposed to say, Allison? You have to ask for permission. Say, spirits, give us permission to pass. Spirits, let me pass. This is the uh, gravestone. The uh, killer, what, cotton hook? May his victims rest in peace. They're all like screaming at the tombstones right now. I feel like somebody's gonna pop out. Aliens, I'm gonna need y'all to get back into your cars immediately. We've got some scary cats trying to leave early. Okay. I want y'all this place ain't for chickens. These spooks are real and they'll get you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let's okay, go. all right, let's go, let's go. Into the vehicle. I guess we have safe passage now. We're coming up here. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, the first ghost sighting we're going to just says ghost sighting area, radio, interruptions 92.9. And then we gotta go to 92.9 to hear the ghost sighting scene. Uh, so at each scene, you gotta make sure to turn your headlights off. So I think each scene is gonna have like a different burial site and the spirits will rise up. <laughs> okay, we're we're pulling up. Welcome home. That's our go-to. Wait, Alex is scared. Scared. <laughs> 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 You're sweating there a little bit, What's Jimmy. Are you stressed? Something going on. There's a little square one on a gold chain. That ain't there. I don't know what's going on. Stop. Oh. oh, he uh, he just licked his saw for you. Is that what you want to see? Yeah, it does make me feel a little tingly on the inside. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Ah. Yeah, he's got a dead body. 
Is she kissing her now? Oh. Oh. Oh, there's someone down there. There's someone alive. Oh. 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 This ain't good. No way she's making out of this. Who's gonna get a fight? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh! Off with the head! No, no. Man, look at him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's quite disturbing. Yeah, the whole lick in the face and. Yeah. Did you see the scarecrow? No. Did you see the Tin Man? You should break him free. You got this, sweetheart. You can break free. What's going on? I don't, I don't think she's gonna make it out of live on this one. Oh, she running over here. Oh, oh. No, no. Well, here he comes. Oh, gosh. Man, that's some dedication to be running through the corn and everything. There's a dead cat on the fence. Keep going, keep going. No, are you serious? Little bones. <gasps> Little bones. Oh. Little dead cat. Oh, it's like zero. But... That's the animatronic over there, Jameel. Look. You know, that's a cow and he's looking at other cows, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to town back there. I wonder, wait, is it the scene? Just to watch a cow lick another cow's butt? That's cow love, man. Dude, he is still going to town back there. What? <laughs> that doesn't fit. The music doesn't match what's happening. It, it should be like romantic jazz. Oh! oh whoa, whoa, what just whoa. happened? Oh, there are multiple people just floating. This looks like when you're driving through Pennsylvania, the Amish, because they don't have any dryers, so they put all their sheets out. Yeah. What is going on? Hey, I had that onesie. What? That, uh, that Mickey Mouse one. It's from Target. Like high school. What, what? happened? What's happened? Oh, there is. Oh, I see his eyes. <laughs> He's just creeping right there. No. What was that? Oh, oh, God. Oh. God. Dang it. oh no. What is that? Oh, oh. I think some I think something happened to you. <laughs> She's coming right there. <laughs> what happened? Some kind of wreck.
there's a train. The Hogwarts Express, it looks like it. <laughs> it sure is. All right, so that was the end of it. So now we're going to think it's called the uh, the Barnyard Experience. It's like an additional upcharge. Uh, it's $79 per car, so it's not per person. We get like one cocktail each. Uh, they give us little tickets. Now we got a problem. I was entrusted with a little uh, drink ticket. Never entrust me with anything. Uh, and I, I don't know where I put them. They're somewhere in the car. So don't pull a Kevin. If you do get these little drink tickets, put it in your purse or someplace safe. They're like little blue tickets and they're they're somewhere. Now we're going to the uh, the barnyard area. You got live music. There's just uh, someone uh, hanging here. So uh, which one would you like for Christmas? Oh no. Hear the fear Aztec death whistles. <laughs> it's like a two-headed fear whistle. They have these little booths here where you can buy stuff. They have a bunch of like these little creepy baby dolls that you can purchase. Ooh. Oh, so it looks like they have t-shirts now for the haunted road. Those are kind of cool. Oh, so there's like the train, the guy with the hook, the poor creepy souls and the corn. Then they got haunted road hats. And here's a different type of shirt too. Yeah, this is last year's shirt. And then they have like fun little masks, scarecrow, a wolf, like a mermaid. All right, so they have some artwork that you can buy here. I love nothing better than jewelry and spooky jewelry, so. <laughs> they have some plates. Right, so they have a bunch of different type of uh, spooky earrings. They have barbecue here. Here. That's an interesting catchphrase. I right, said so Tanner's Pioneer Ranch, Tanner's Ribs. My meat melts in your mouth. Here's some, uh, a little unicorn. It's What's smoke. The... It's smoke ribs. How long is it smoke for? Since 5.30 this morning. So the guy who smoked them said the barbecue sauce, he has his own bees, so, so there's honey in the barbecue sauce. Ooh, look at the fat on this piece. He said it's been smoking since like 5 in the morning. It just fell right off the bone. For a goat. I love good pit smoked ribs on the side of the road. And that's exactly what these ribs were. I think they were absolutely delicious. Not the most tender, but just amazing baby back ribs, man. I'm taking a box home. All right, so we've had our ribs now included with our little thing. We got these little uh, drink tickets. Again, I uh, lost them. I told them what happened and they're gonna give us the drinks anyway. All right, so I'm gonna get the uh, Mystic Moon. It's gonna have vodka, pineapple juice, and Sprite. Get some alcohol in us. Yeah. So inside this area, we have some seasoning with candlelight. You can have your food and drinks and sit down and relax. So we've had our drink, we've had the food. Now it's time for the uh, other haunted attraction that we have to go to here. So we're gonna be going into the Butcher Barn. Built as a slaughterhouse in the late 19th century. This historic barn has been the source of speculation for over a hundred years. The butcher, to this day, locals believe he haunts the barn. Always on the lookout for additions to the menu. These people just came sprinting out and they just ran into the field. They were just in there. They looked like they're struggling right now. Butcher, butcher, where's your father? We had to say that. You have right, to so say we... it so something could happen. So you could call for his spirit. All right, we are going into the barn right now. Oh, what is that? Okay, so we have to stand inside the salt circle to be protected. Don't leave the circle. Okay. Actually, the circle is broken, so it doesn't matter Thank if you're you. in the circle or not. Here's yeah. some meat. Good luck. There's some meat. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> where's your father? Butcher, yeah, butcher, butcher, where's your father? Butcher, 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 where's your father? Your father? Your father? Your father? Ah, what the f? Stop to touch me! <laughs> 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 well, Jamia, what, what just happened in there? I don't know. Complete madness. Some insane butcher. Meat was strewn all about. 
and the circle of, of the circle was broken. That's all I know. I think uh, the butcher has possessed Jamil. He's uh. <laughs> I know guys we are back home. This is my new little office. We have to decorate it I'm really excited to show you guys the plans that I have for it Um, so let's talk about the haunted road last year as you remember it just wasn't very good It was a fairy tale story about Rapunzel and Rumpelstiltskin I still don't even know what I witnessed last year I'm sure if you guys went we were all very confused But we all loved when the radio would tell us to drive now this year greatly improved uh, It's its second year in operation. I think a lot of the downfalls that it had last year it improved upon it's an actual kind of of like story it's, it's actually like spooky you're going through like a sp spooky trail with ghosts i like that better than the fantasy stuff they had last year certain scenes were better than others shout out to that guy licking that um head i, I don't know what was going on those images are now burned into my eyes for the rest of my life like the mannequin's face i do wish the haunted road was a little longer maybe like two more scenes but i do know every single haunt nationwide is having struggle with finding scare actors so hopefully next year they have a couple more scenes than they did this year I really enjoyed kind of the different vibe for this year through the Haunted Road. There's like the Haunted Road, right? So it's like $20 per person a ticket, which isn't that bad. It depends on what day you're going. But then there's the uh, the Barnyard Experience. So that's $79 per car. And I don't think it's worth it, right? Now for $79, it just allows you access into the Barnyard Experience. They do have live music and some performers hanging out. But then they have like merchandise that you can purchase and then food that you could purchase. But you get a drink and there's kind of like the free Haunted Experience. I think it would work better better if it was just included with the ticket. Next year, that's what they need to do. But greatly improved from last year. Good job to everybody who worked hard on the project. I'm excited to see what year three looks like next year. Okay, guys, I have a lot of editing. Uh, we got the next Markoff's video dropping on Thursday. Again, we shot like 600 gigabytes of footage so to like edit it down into like a cohesive story. That's what I'm kind of struggling with right now. So Thursday, 3 p.m. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, join the family. All right, love you all. Bye. You've seen better days. You have a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. I watch your videos. Oh, thank you. <laughs>